Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've had to do anything Fallout 76. But I'm very proud to say they're back with a bang. Or a ban. Or an unban. Well, let's see where the video goes, shall we? Okay, so we, we do need to do a wee bit of recapping so we know exactly where we are. Now, I'm not going to recap all the dramas that have been on with Fallout 76. But to cut a long story short, Fallout 76, disastrous launch, terrible game, buggy, broken, nothing to do, yada, yada, yada. They had all the problems with the rum and then the canvas bag, the nylon bag, all that jazz. What I want to do is take us towards December. Now, in December time of last year, 2018, uh, Bethesda said, thank you to the millions of people who are playing Fallout 76. Anyway, somebody did a little bit of number crunching, uh, finding out exactly how many people were playing Fallout 76, and it actually turned out to be roughly around 400,000 people, 430,000 people. And that was beginning of December, so that was three weeks after launch. Uh, needless to say, that number now will be sub substantially lower but the reason why i want to say that the reason why i want to set that up is towards the end of december bethesda sent out a bunch of bands banned a bunch of accounts got nobody playing the game banned a bunch of accounts now you could say legitimately yeah but if people are cheating then they deserve to be banned i hears you i hears you i hears you however uh some people are claiming they were banned unfairly some people saying that they weren't cheating at all. I understand there will be a proportion of those people who are just fibbing. Uh, but there just see, there did seem to be genuine people coming out saying, Look, I, I have done nothing wrong. And then there were people who seemed to be unfairly banned. For instance, some people were using Nexus mods uh, to enhance the game, to make it better, to fix bugs, to, you know, do some UI changes. Not doing unfair you know anything i would deem was particularly unfair stuff by the way which you can do with with other games uh, but wouldn't give you an advantage out in the field however bethesda didn't like that and what was funny was bethesda didn't seem to be able to actually see what you were doing they they could see that you were using a third party piece of software but as to what that third party piece of software actually did uh, I don't think they knew. And so they were getting really kind of like pretentious. I'd say pretty pretentious emails. And emails just really weren't worthy of what Bethesda, you know, needed to be talking. Considering how much they were cocking things up. Because the emails were like, your account's been banned. Uh, if you want any chance of having it unbanned. So there was no guarantee they'd get it unbanned anyway. But if you want any chance of getting unbanned, you got to send us an essay as to why it's bad to use third-party softwares and it can piss, piss off. Do you know what's bad, Bethesda? Releasing a piece of shit like Fallout 76, trying to charge full price for it, claiming that you've been working on it for a long period of time and that you've roped in all the other Bethesda companies and Zenimax companies to help you. And then when you release it, you realize it's just in a shell, an alpha shell of broken nothingness. So, you know, you should be writing us a bloody essay. Anyway, that's by the by. This story gets better. Uh, then, of course, uh, later on, Fallout 76's most loyal player, a chap who had churned in over, well, claiming to cl uh, churned in 900 hours of play, got banned. Why did he get banned? Well, he had too much stuff. According to Bethesda, he had too much stuff. He had too much ammo, apparently. Now, uh, because his account was banned, he couldn't show things off. So people were literally making their assumptions off based off the emails that Bethesda had sent to him. And apparently, they had listed a load of stuff in his inventory as to why he had been banned. And people were saying, well, if he had this much ammo of this type, then he would have had to have launched X amount of nukes to spawn this boss, uh, which was would have been virtually impossible for him to do. So he's a cheater. Now, he claimed that he didn't have that. That was his defense. He was just like, no, I, I don't even have this. You know, certainly not the amount that they were claiming to or whatnot. And uh, because he couldn't access his account, he couldn't prove anything. And then people were saying, oh, he hasn't put 900 hours into the game. He's lying. He's blah, blah, blah. 
So this, this poor guy is being dragged over the coals, and all he's done, according to him, uh, but we'll, we'll get onto some proof in a minute, uh, all he's done is play the game. I mean, why? I don't know. <laughs> I recently went back on after, after uh, participating in the beta to see if the game had proved, you know, improved over the three or so months, four, four months now, that it's been out. And it was just, it was still buggy. Uh, it, the, the client was a bit more stable, a bit. But there was lag, you know, there's still lag. There was still constant screen freezes. Uh, mob bugs, bugs, ever loads. It was look. It was just a terrible, awful, boring experience. But you know, we can't help the ones we love. That's all I'm going to say with that, and be kind to him. So anyway, uh, there was a a patch, either beginning of this week or last week, and uh, people who had banned accounts suddenly realised that they could start logging in. Now, Bethesda didn't announce that they'd unbanned people, but people were logging in and just like, oh, hey, uh, my account was banned, but I, I can log in. And so they were taking to Reddit and telling people. And so the word was spreading on Reddit, so people who had banned accounts were checking, and yeah, their account was unbanned and they were back in. Now, when, Blizz uh, when Bethesda banned... I did that in a video, didn't I? When Bethesda did ban 900 Hours Guy, they said in their ban email, you will be unbanned at some point. When we have fixed the problems with your, you know, duping... Because I think they claimed he was a duper and um, whatnot. So he was always going to get banned at some point. It just And it looked like this was the time. So... These pictures that you can see here, Mr. 900 Hours Guy uh, posted them. These are the pictures from his account to prove his to prove his time and his inventory. So uh, he did say I lied, though. He did confess he lied. Uh, he'd actually only put 870 hours in, not 900. Oh, you fraud! <clears throat> no, okay, so, you know, Joe, he's joking, it's, it's, you know, he, he's put essentially 900 hours in, so he's proving his time here, and then he's showing off his inventory of what he's got, like Nuka grenades, uh, he's showing off, uh, this is the, the thing which people had problems with, uh, I think it was the uh, Ultrasight stuff that they were claiming he had way too much of, and he's showing off how much he genuinely has, shotgun 1100, um, going into some ammo here, uh, armor here, sorry, and then he's showing off more Ultrasight stuff, 50 rounds, got 280, uh, Ultrasight, uh, 45 rounds, uh, 11,000, Ultrasight, 44 rounds, 2,100, so he's showing off, he's proving his inventory to people, saying, look, this is what I've got, uh, mini nukes, uh, this is what I've accumulated in his 870 hours play, so he writes this post on Reddit, I only had 870 hours I played. So sorry, everyone, from 900 hours, guy. And then somebody says in another post soon, does that mean you're now 901 hours, guy? Ah, it's funny. Um, but for reals, my ammo counts on my main and alt that carried my ammo. Also included are my weapons, armor tab on my level 457 main character so he's he's proving himself and then he also says believe what you want to believe i never duped anything i never cheat in any online game and i'm disgusted i was lumped into a group of cheaters check your account and that's the purpose of this post for everyone asking in the comments and closure i never got an email saying i was unbanned i just happened to uh, i just happened across a post on reddit saying they could get back on and i checked so if you want to know see more let me know see more butts Yep, baby. See more butts. So, uh, it had a happy ending. It had a happy ending. Uh, but, of course, you know, Bethesda seemed to have messed up the unbanning because uh, they didn't email anyone. They didn't tell anyone. Uh, and so, the, the people who were banned uh, came back on. The people who had been unfairly banned came back on. Nothing had been taken from their inventories either, by the way. Nothing had been taken from their inventories at all. So, all the unbanned people coming back to their original inventories. So, what a lovely story. Bethesda messed it up, and uh, people got their accounts back. So, hope you enjoy... Oh, it's not over. 
Oh no, no, that's not the mess up, people. That's just whatever. That's just poor communication by Bethesda, maybe. No, the mess up is they banned them all again. <laughs> they banned them all again. <laughs> it's possible that the unbanning was a mess up, another cock up at Bethesda's end. And so all the banned people got their accounts unbanned and now they're all banned again several days later. So 900 hours guy posts again. 482,000 uh, login failed. This account was not authorized. Since people seem to think others are trolling, because people suddenly started posting, my account's banned again. Here we go, this guy here. Banned again? WTF. Okay, so I was hit with the ban wave wrongfully, and then I got unbanned, and I was drawing the parade, DLC. Just got the owl mask, went to my camp to store it in my chest, and I got, uh, and bam, I got, I logged in and hit with the login failed account. Da -da 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 -da. So he's come, he's got unbanned, he reckons he's been unfairly unbanned, he spent his atoms and money at this event that's going on currently in the game, he doesn't know why he got banned in the first place, he could be fibbing, but you know, I think, I think 900 hours guy seems to be, seems to be legit, seems to be on the up and up. Now people in the comment section say, no, this is just a bug, check, you'll be fine, but no, this is when 900 hours guy steps in again, no. Nope. No, I'm banned as well. <laughs> uh, so they've been banned again. So we don't, they don't know if this wave, this banning is accidental and they've messed up and there's a bug that's now banning the people who are unbanned or whether or not the unbanning, the original unbanning a few days ago that wasn't notified by Bethesda is the mess up. So this whole thing's a massive cluster. Uh, new Coca-Cola. Unbelievable! Bethesda! <laughs> Good to see you're back on top form with Fallout 76. And when I say back on top form with Fallout 76, I mean absolutely atrocious again. Uh, so there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed story time with us. If you did, do give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.